हेलो हाउ आर यू आई एम समर हमदानी आई एम स्टार्टिंग अ सीरीज वर्ल्ड एट वॉर so regarding the china and taiwan war what would an actual chinese invasion look like we do have a reference point to look at and that is ukraine the whole world is feeling the effect of russia's war our fuel is more expensive our food prices are rising our energy bills are too high but a war in taiwan would be even worse think of it like this If the Ukraine war is a sword fight, a Taiwan war will be the shootout, and I'll tell you why. First, because of the parties involved, both Russia and Ukraine are financially weak. The combined GDP is around 1.7 trillion dollars compared that to Taiwan and China. China alone has a GDP of 12 trillion dollars, and Taiwan GDP is around 650 billion dollars. so the shock to the global economy is going to be huge also there is a possibility of outside intervention i'm talking about obviously the united states if joe biden does intervene all bets are off two of the biggest economies in the world would be in direct war three if japan decides to get involved there will be three in such a scenario world trade would completely collapse let me show you some numbers china makes uh, up to 12.4% of world trade that's both imports and exports put together uh, the us make up 8.1 what about taiwan it makes 1.7 of all global exports in simple words they are more integrated into the world economy which was not the case with ukraine and russia both countries sell gas and grains important yes but not enough to derail global trade as we know it and the idea behind this report is not to be alarmist this is actually uh, a dispassionate assessment of what the near future uh, we actually look like another reason why this war would Uh, hurt more is the location of the conflict ukraine is stuck away near the black sea while taiwan is centrally located in the indo pacific it straddles one of the busiest shipping routes in the world almost 33% of sea bond trade goes through this region if it becomes a battle ground the impact would be immeasurable and i mean it literally because it's impossible to predict what kind of hit our world economy would take the biggest casualty would be electronics it's safe to say taiwan is the biggest manufacturer of semiconductors they make up around of half of all exports if china attacks that trade would ground to a halt either the play army will destroy the factories or they'll take control of them either way there is going to be chip shortage and we experienced a similar situation during the pandemic as taiwan's chip exports slowed down in 2020 and you remember the consequences mobile phones become more expensive vehicles uh, uh, were unavailable they were long waiting periods computers could not be manufactured basically the technology industry come to a stand uh, still a war would be even worse because china is also a technology powerhouse the biggest exports are computers phones machines parts if the uh, pla goes to war industry will shift focus they won't be exporting smartphones then they will recalibrate to uh, boost the army to build radars engines ammunition and don't forget the sanctions both the us and china will likely wage our economic war how would that play the americans will probably try to squeeze china's energy imports basically ground the pla war machine the chinese will probably seize us assets in china perhaps uh, use cyber attacks to disable american networks and this back and forth would run both economies in fact 
the Rand Corporation has published uh, a study on how this economic war would play out. They say America's GDP will fall by 5 to 10 percent, China's by 25 to 35 percent. And for the world, it would be a global economic emergency or simply put a recession. So that is the economic cost of Taiwan in region. What about the political cost? Will victorious China stop at Taiwan? Chances are they won't, which means countries in the Indo-Pacific must prepare for war. In other words, an army race Japan, for instance, will have to immediately suspend. Yes, suspend pacifism. They will have no option but to arm themselves. A former Pentagon official is already suggesting this. His name is Albridge Colby. He was the Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense under Donald Trump. Now Colby says Japan must triple its defense spending immediately. Right now they spend just 1% of the GDP on defense. If Taiwan falls, they may have to increase it to 2 to 3%. Same with the ASEAN state. They will have two options against a belligerent China, either succumb to Beijing's pressure or arm themselves for deterrence. And what I just described is a hypothetical situation, actually uh, a scratch that it's a hypothetical nightmare, a world crippled by shortages and recession, an Indo-Pacific arm to the teeth and the world's biggest economies locked in war. It may not be a global war, but it will be a global economic crisis. Make no mistake, so both Joe Biden and Xi Jinping must exercise restraint. The cost of a war in the Taiwan Strait is simply too high. It would set the world back two years, if not decades. So subscribe Samar Hamdani and you are watching Samar Hamdani on YouTube.